have had some excellent mech titles coming into the end of this year with 13 Sentinels, Aegis Rem, and Robotics Notes Elite holding down the adventure side of the genre. Why not spice it up with a giant robot arena fighter? This led me to jump into the open beta of Override 2, Super Mech League to man the cockpit of some really cool mechs. Override 2, Super Mech League is an arena fighter with four modes available during its current open beta. Matchmaking, versus training, and a tutorial. The tutorial does exactly what you think it does and explains the game's rather simplistic setup. During gameplay, you'll find yourself on one of the beta's five maps, another a 1v1, a four player free for all, or a 2v2 team match. Outside of basic character and camera movements, you've got a double jump, a grab, guard, and a ground dash for basic maneuvering. Discounting grabs, you have four main attacks, light and heavy variations of punch and kick. Pressing these buttons together will guarantee you special moves, of which there are four varieties. These vary considerably depending on the robot being controlled, but the light punch plus light kick is always a projectile attack of some kind. There's minimal in the way of combo potential, with only a few characters being able to chain their attacks together. I also found that currently only two robots in the beta have a three button combo. If anything, this does make it more approachable, as you'll find yourself highly focused on working out your spacing. It also helps that the mech designs are all unique and stand out from each other. They also boast brightly coloured attacks for more distinct visual cues when trying to figure out your opponent. Override 2 Super Mech League becomes even more interesting with the inclusion of stage hazards and other interactables. Aside from avoiding lasers and lava, you can pick up rocks, buildings and other objects to throw at your opponent with some serious potential range. You can also pick up weapons such as guns, swords or spears, which can also be thrown if you wish. Finally, you have a special meter, which boosts by standing within small golden fields. These specials don't do much damage, but can relatively easily be blocked, and the charge required to use them is rather large. But in an interesting twist, the gauge needed actually goes down alongside your health. Now this could have been because I'm playing the beta in Australia, but there was a significant amount of lag for online games with more than two participants. This may be the thing that ends up stopping me from getting super deep into the game, but by no means takes away from how much fun it was to play. It also has split screen multiplayer, which I only tested for two people, but there's nothing more fun than trying to beat up the person next to you. And there's also no lag in that. Override 2, Super Mech League's beta was a considerable amount of fun, and I'd be pretty excited to see how the full game turns out. I mean, that one has Ultraman in it after all. Thank you guys so much for watching, Noisy Pixels, the group dedicated to bringing you guys the best news of previous and more. Please stick around and, you know, watch your other content on, you know, Robotics Notes Elite and Aegis Rim 13 Sentinels. I got that title backwards. I don't care. They're both really good games. Additionally, if you've also played the beta for this title, what was the best Mac? Um, I am totally blanking on all the names, but little TV head is the cutest thing. I love his little warp attacks.